delayed steal is one of, one of the most exciting plays in youth baseball. What the delayed steal is, is it's when the base runner steals the base after the pitcher's thrown the ball, and he's actually stealing when the catcher throws the ball back to the pitcher. Uh, it combines timing, hustle, and correct sliding. You could do the delayed steal with a man on first, going from first to second, second to third, or third to home. One of the biggest indicators that coaches and players should look for is on the throw from the catcher back to the pitcher and where the pitcher actually catches the ball. He actually catches the ball different places on the pitcher's mound. It could be on the pitching rubber or he come to the base of the mound. Now if he's on the base of the mound, it's a shorter throw. If he retrieves the ball from the catcher on the top of the mound of the pitching rubber, it's a longer throw and this is a good indicator given the base runner a longer period of time to do the delayed steal. The other thing I want to mention is that I want coaches to give slower base runners an opportunity to do the delayed steal. Once they're successful, they'll feel just like they hit a home run. Now this is a very important video clip to help your baseball season. Youth players love doing the delayed steal because they catch the other team sleeping and take advantage of ineptitude. Coaches and players should look for certain things when determining if an attempted delayed steal is possible. One thing to look for is when the catcher throws the ball back to the pitcher with a rainbow-like throw instead of a hard line drive. A high arc throw back to the pitcher may leave the runner with enough time to steal the base. Rainbow throws also cause the pitcher to be flat-footed when receiving the ball back from the catcher. Another indicator is when the catcher throws from his knees. When catchers throw the ball from their knees, they do not get enough power behind the ball and lazy throws will result. 